Okay, I'm out in my car, and I sh did a walkthrough of the botanical, the Obrick Botanical Gardens, and I'm going to show that in a separate video, but I went across the street, and look, way, there's the lake, and if you look way off over there, you can see, I've zoomed as much as I can, but you can see downtown Madison. And this is either Monona Lake or Mendota Lake. I'll look it up when I when I go home to find out exactly which lake this is. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to do a watercolor of this scene. I'm going to sit here and do this watercolor. I'm going to zoom out a little. I'll probably get a little bit of the road in there and there's some ducks off over this way get some of the ducks in there but pretty cool so I think I'm going to sit here and do some watercolors I might change my view and do another one okay I changed my box my writing box my book of writings I was that other one that I was using was too small I got this one at Michael's for 70% off so I'm really happy with this. I, I hope that it holds up for me. It's one of those boxes, suitcase boxes that they sell at Michael's. Look at that. Create your own happiness and believe in miracles. Dream big. Enjoy the journey. This is going to be cool. Now if I open it up, I'm going to turn it around so that I can open it up. And then it has writing on the inside lid, too, up in here. You can't see it too well. It has writing up all around in here on the inside. I have some new watercolor markers that were put out by Windsor Newton. These are a new product. I got mine at Michael's for buy one, get one 50% off. So I bought the Earth Tone, the Warm Set, which are... Um, Burnt Sienna, raw Sienna, and raw Umber, kind of yellow brown tones. And then I bought the dark set, which are Payne's Gray, Sepia, and Lamp Black. So I've been using my fountain pen to draw with, but I might use these to draw with today. I want to see if they soak through my composition book paper. So I'm going to get these out. I have my Shakespeare book. In case I want to collage, a pair of eyeglasses, um, composition book. Let's see. I'm going to pull my fountain pen out just because I might want to use it. My pencil sharpener with my little shavings in there. And I'm not going to use my inks today. I put my watercolor ground in another little jelly jar, empty jelly jar. And so I could have some both places. I'm going to get out my Stabilo pencils. And I might, well, we'll see. I was thinking I would work with the distress stains, but if I work with those watercolor markers. So that's what I'm going to work with right now. We'll see what happens. Let's close this back up here. And then I think I can just slip this right. I think I'll slip the bottom of it like that. And then I can rest my composition book right here and turn the visor down there. And I think you get a good view of the paper. I'm going to start out... Oh, and I have off over to my side here, you can't see them. I have my watercolor set, and then down over here, I have my water brushes over to my right. So if I do want to put color on these pages, I can. Now, I think I'm going to turn my page this way. Can you see that? Yeah, you get a pretty good view of that, don't you? Let's turn it just a little bit more. I'm going to do a landscape view of the lake. And of course, I don't have blue, 
in here. That was the set that cost $29, and I didn't really have $29 to spend. These cost around $14.95 for one set, and then half of that for the second one. I have Payne's Gray, though, which is a dark blue. I might use that and get it out here. Let's see how I can do this. I'm hoping that I can just prop this up there and that it will stay. These watercolor markers have a brush tip. I think that's the brush tip. It's got a point to it, though. These are the new Winsor Newton watercolors. Oh, yeah, see, and then this is a finer tip. I don't know if you can see that or not. Again, maybe if I hold it up against the paper, you can see. That's the finer tip to it. And then... This is the Payne's Gray, and then there's a brush tip, which is a wider, thicker. So it's two, two, two sides to each marker. I'm going to start with the finer tip here. Let's pull it off and see. Yeah, I guess I can. I'll put my cap right there. And I'm going to do a quick sketch here. I might come in with some watercolors. It's kind of a gray day out. So at this point... What I'm going to do is fast forward.
Okay, so I'm going to do another sketch. I'm still out at the Oberk Gardens. And I'll put a link to this. I'm sure they're on the internet. I'm way at the back of the gardens, and I'm parked in my car. And this is what I'm seeing. Isn't this neat? Kind of like an arbor. And then there's some fall foliage over this way. So I think that I'm going to sketch this. I'm going to point my camera now, down now and get to work. Thursday, October 30th, 2014. Hello from the Mary Atelier. This morning, I had to drive across town to attend some classes for people who work at the voter booths in the upcoming November elections. I will be attending two sessions today, one on closing the booth and one on registering new voters. It is interesting. The classes are held in a room at Madison's Obert Gardens. After the morning class, I went for a walk around the gardens. It's really pretty quiet there, and there were only a few people out walking in the fall. But, oh, the beautiful colors. I have to say, my favorite part of the walk was finding the hydrangea plants, beautiful browns and pinks after they are dried. When I got to the Thai pavilion, the signs warn you not to touch the gold. Well, I had to resist... But I promised myself that when I got back to my studio, I will put my fingers in that jar of gold screen printing ink and make some art. And then I did some watercolors of the lake and the cityscape of Madison in the distance. I like the one where I caught a glimpse of a passing boat. The arbor on the opposite page needs some more work on it. I think some more definition with my pen and ink. I also tried out some new Windsor and Newton watercolor markers today. I'm holding my opinion on those for now. I will see as I use them a little bit more. But when I used the Sienna one the second time, it got a little leaky. Well, I guess I like the little pan sets best for my sketching, but we'll see as I continue to work with the markers. I have about 45 minutes before my next class. I want to finish my sketches, and I'm at the end of this page, so I will close for now and write more on the next page. Thursday, October 30th, 2014. Mary at the Mary Atelier.